Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about the spool holder that comes with the Artillery Genius. Uh, I'll mention some of the inconveniences that I faced while using that and how I made a few upgrades to help solve those issues. Uh, hopefully you'll find this useful and maybe you'll make the same upgrades to your uh, Artillery Genius as well. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the stock spool holder that comes uh, with the uh, machine and uh, to be honest it's a very nice design. Uh, the way that they have made it, uh, it's adjustable and accepts a number of different sizes of spools and yeah so I mean uh, if you have this machine you know you know that you just sort of put this spool uh, between the bearings and that's it and if you have a different size of spool you can adjust this by moving it side to side and the way that this works is there are two slots in this plastic injection molded plastic piece uh, and these spool holders they have these grooves uh, no, not sorry grooves these uh, I guess legs or whatever you would call them which basically get inserted into these slots and then they're quite stable there uh, it also comes with a small screw which you uh, screw in back here to the metal leg so that it doesn't move uh, once you've adjusted it uh, this other one doesn't move at all. Uh, same mechanism, but the groove is only meant to uh, keep it in place and not allow it to slide. So the first issue I faced, well, the first, not the issue, not an issue honestly, uh, more of an inconvenience, uh, was that I would need to constantly adjust the uh, position of this piece. Uh, so that it would take different spool sizes. Uh, so that was the first issue. Uh, and I found a really simple and nice solution for it, uh, which is these rollers, roller pins, I guess. Uh, I found these on Thingiverse. I'll see if I can find a link to that model and uh, add it to the video description. And so what they do is you essentially put them between the bearings. They they're designed to go on top of the bearings. I just put them like this, and then you would slide this in, and yeah. So this uses the maximum possible width, and then your spool would just go on top of this. So it's a bit wobbly because I don't have that nut screwed in, but yeah, uh, when that nut is screwed in, this is very stable. So yeah, this solved the problem of having to adjust the width constantly to use different spool sizes. And this worked for uh, a couple of weeks. I found this yeah a couple of weeks ago, and it's worked pretty well so far. Uh, but then recently uh, i ordered a few samples of filament from protopasta and i also printed a mini spool uh, i don't know if you would call this a master spool design uh, but it, it's, it's a mini spool and the problem is that this is too small for uh, this folder right it, it won't fit so i can't work with this and in order to solve that, I need something, I need a more, I think that's the more, it's more traditional spool holder design where you have essentially a uh, cylinder like this, which this then rotates on. I wanted something like this for uh, this machine, but uh, I could not find any uh, simple solutions on Thingiverse that did not require extensive modification uh, and I've been thinking about this for a while uh, 
honestly ever since I got the machine because this is one of the one of those inconveniences that I've had with it since the start and one thing I noticed was uh, that these pool holders uh, these metal pieces they have so they have these grooves uh, cut out here right and I always thought this would be a perfect place to plug something in and then make a spool holder out of and so that's exactly what I did so a few days ago I designed and printed my own version of a spool holder which is basically this uh, the tape is this is just like a, a version alpha version of this uh, I'm still improving it working on it uh, so the first iteration it was the piece was a bit small and so the uh, uh, the spool would basically start touching this uh, the top of the printer and it would not rotate freely so I printed another small piece and just sort of taped them together uh, I'm still working on this design iterating it I, I'll be using it for a couple of weeks figuring out uh, what issues, what are the biggest issues that I face and then uh, iterate based on those and maybe come up with like a version 1. So anyways, the way this works is uh, you have this uh, piece and this is sort of so this inserts through this slot and this is quite stable uh, i mean again because nut is not there so i'll just put it in this screw so this is quite stable then and with the uh, nut screwed in this is solid and does not move at all and so that's one part the other part is this uh, the actual arm which holds the spool and uh, if you notice there's this small opening here and then this just plugs in here and that is kind of it and so this is now able to hold a variety of spool sizes for the smaller spool and rotate quite freely uh, yeah and this can also take a one kg spool size And most importantly, the reason I designed this in the first place was to use a spool of this size, which I can now easily handle as well. Yeah. And again, uh, this is only trying to tip over because it's not uh, tightened on the back with that not screw. All right, so yeah that's sort of it for this video and uh, like I said I'm going to keep iterating on this uh, the reason I chose to make this thing separate from this base piece is uh, I think while this I can just design once uh, and not have to change a lot uh, this is something I can experiment with uh, I'm thinking of maybe designing a piece where I can have a threaded rod uh, going through the slot and have bearings uh, on top of that with uh, another printed piece on top of the bearings which the spool sits on which would again reduce the friction uh, in the system and yeah so that's it for this video uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions on how I can improve this design uh, please do leave uh, those down in the video comments uh, i will add links to the model files for both those rollers that i showed you before and this one which i designed myself uh, in the video description and yeah so thank you for watching